It was going to be really hard for us to stay at their pace because they have so many good players, but we have a lot of good players. And I don't think we, we never overestimate them because we know that we're really close in skill and that whoever comes out and just shows it is going to be who wins. This is an amazing team and it's like a big accomplishment to beat a team like this. This game wrap is presented by R&D Custom Builders. You dream it, we build it. Proudly supporting area high school sports. And by the Jason Glass Group. Jason Glass Group is the top sales team within the premier real estate brokerage in the greater San Antonio area, Phyllis Browning Company. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great area high school and local sports coverage, TV, radio, and cheap web streams refuse to cover. And check out my Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and the UIL will love you if you do it. Thanks so much and enjoy the show. Instant classic volleyball match, Dripping Springs taking on San Antonio Cornerstone. Drip the defending 6A UIL state champions while the Warriors one of the top teams in the nation. The match featured about a dozen future Division I volleyball players, including Grace Carroll and Megan Fitch of Cornerstone and Henley Anderson and Ashley Houston of Drip. It also featured multiple state championship winning coach Michael Kane of Drip and 1,000 match winner Mike Carter of Cornerstone. This one went the distance and it was an epic. Who would come out on top? Let's head straight to the fifth and final set and check out the action presented by R&D Custom Builders and the Jason Glass Group.
A match that was back and forth the whole way ended up with Anderson and Presley Alford taking over in the fifth. An epic for sure for the volleyball ages, well, at least on this night, and it went to Dripping Springs. Great stuff. Hey, we got work to do. Seven in the morning, we're going right back up. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go. Yeah. Let's hear from both sides. Big accomplishment to beat a team like this. It was going to be really hard for us to stay at their pace because they have so many good players, but we have a lot of good players. And I don't think we, we never overestimate them because we know that we're really close in skill and that whoever comes out and just shows it is going to be who wins. Coach Kane has been talking to us about having a championship mindset and I think going into it, um, we didn't have as much nerves since it wasn't a district game. And I think we really just brought it and did exactly what he wanted us to do. We knew that if we wanted to do really well in playoffs in our, in our next few games in district, we had to do well in this game. So I think that motivated us to just give it our all, give 100% and play how we did. Every time I go back there, I have my same routine and I just have to have confidence in myself. With that confidence, I'm able to just think about getting it over and in. This match was honestly super fun. It was a really exciting um, atmosphere to play in. The environment was so fun. It was loud in here. Everyone was super involved. I'm a right side, Henley's an outside, so it gives me a main focus to block. And so I think it's just really preparing me to hone in on things that I need to focus on. And it's helping me um, get ready for upcoming hitters. I love playing the competitive games because it just makes you play even better, um, especially when it's so fast. And our student section was going crazy. So was theirs, and theirs was not as big and the atmosphere was insane and I just love playing in it. It was a lot of fun. Cornerstone season is complete and Grace Carroll heads off to Baylor. Meanwhile, Drip still has another district match with Austin Lake Travis who beat Drip already in district play as well as in the Fraulein Fest a couple of months ago. Very likely those two will play one more time after that in the 6A quarterfinals just like they did last year. Reporting from San Antonio, I am Mr. Bowtie.